there is always a code of ethics, and, and the code of ethics is um, to quote people accurately and to make sure that even though you're distilling their story from three hours of tape, to make sure that the, what I put down reflects what they were saying in the larger interview. And that was always very important because you can only use a tenth or a twentieth sometimes of what people are telling you. But you don't want to just pick out the good things. You want to, if you're going to pick out them, cherry pick what's good, you want to make sure it still accurately reflects their overall attitude and their tone. And that was very, very challenging. And also, I, you know, they may have been wrong about things, but um, I, I, I didn't want, unless I had somebody else saying that they were wrong, I wouldn't knowingly have anything in there I knew was inaccurate. And I think any journalist, you, you want to you be accurate. You don't, you don't want anybody to call you up afterward and say, you didn't tell the truth, you misquoted me, um, you're a liar. Um, and, I, you know, I, it's, it's really never happened to me before. Um, um, I'm here to tell the story, I'm here to tell the story accurately. And that's, it's the story as I see it, but um, I'm trained to look at it and see what the story is and then tell that story. And to me, that was the story of television were all these people behind the scenes who were creating this medium. That to me was how it all came together. Much more important than any kind of dates or anything like that. Is there kind of a, a best practices that you have for yourself for oral history now that you've developed? Um, become a better listener, to become a really good researcher, and also to pre-interview people. I find that just, um, I can get a sense pretty early on whether or not they're going to help me or you know, tell, be able to talk in ways which tell the story that you know I want to tell. Um, there, it's it's journalism. I, it's all all the stuff that was grounded into my head at the journalism school. Um, be accurate. Be respectful. Accuracy is really just I don't know. I can't think of anything that's more important than that. And um, and also keep an eye on the story. What's what? What are you trying to tell here? And um, what's the story? And figure out what the story is, and then tell it. And so, you know, studs might have a political goal in mind. Um, and there was a goal into the box was telling about uh, commercial interest taking over TV. Um, but that story was grounded in a lot of years of research and reading and talking and listening and um, understanding that that's how the medium changed. Of course, that's how it developed too. Um, without all those, you know, the infusion of cash, we wouldn't have the great stories that are being told today. There's no question about that. Purity only gets you so far. But yet, you know, you just see how the system has changed in so many ways and not always for the better.